Well, I thought I'd try something a little bit differently tonight. <clears throat> Typically, I take still photos, but tonight I figured I'd do a little bit of a video presentation here. This is the Catalina Sky Surveys and Stewart Observatory's 60-inch or 1.5-meter telescope at the peak of Mount Lemmon. This is the telescope that's used approximately 24 nights per lunation by the Catalina Sky Survey. As you can see up here, this large canister, the silver canister you see in the center of the frame is our new 10K by 10K camera. It gives us a field of view of two degrees by two degrees or four full, squa four full square degrees on the sky. We can reach about magnitude 21.7 in a 30 second exposure. Like I said, this telescope is a 1.5 meter or 60 inch telescope and the focal length is 3,000 millimeters or in photographic terms, that's an F2. As you can see, it's on a yoke mount. We do not have access to the sky above, above declination 30, or excuse me, 30, 60, plus 60. And we can go down to easily negative uh, 28, or 28 south. As you can see over here on this upper level where I'm standing, we have two additional rings. The ring on the left holds the old Catalina Sky Survey camera. That's a 4K by 4K camera and it was just replaced, replaced on this telescope last spring. The ring in the center of the field right now is the Cassegrainian ring. There's a small convex mirror on that ring and it sends the light path. The light path comes down from the sky, reflects off that 60 inch mirror, then bounces back up to where our camera is currently to that lamp or mirror, sorry, and then back down through a hole in the primary and out the bottom of the telescope. That ring used to get a lot more use in the past, but our camera tends to stay on the telescope nearly all of the year. This telescope is my partner in crime with this telescope, or I should say this telescope and I discovered 2008 TC3, 2014 AA, and 2010 CQ1, which is currently the closest approacher that did not impact the Earth. The telescope's been busy, has a good history, and will continue to be a history-making telescope in the future, I have no doubt. Now time to get to work.